Hello guys, welcome back and today we are going to continue to work with our AWS Lake Formation and today we are going to create our first database, we are going to register our, our first data lake location and we are also going to provide necessary permissions for our dev user to allow him to read um, our data. So let's continue to work and as you can see I am under admin user and I'm going to go to AWS Lake Formation and uh, right now we need to create the database so we uh, this Lake Formation was created from scratch we don't have anything we just provide the admin rights for our admin user and uh, that's it there is no any locations no data lake location so nothing so first of all let's let's create the database as a, our first step and let's name of the database will be land, landing data so landing data this is one the, this is the first layer of our data lake and this is actually the layer where your sources will upload your data uh, upload their data so we we're gonna allow them to do this uh, on s3 so right now we need to provide the location for s3 and as you can see uh, because it's new account i don't have any s3 buckets let me just create one And yeah, let's create bucket well, in action landing data. That's great. Okay. So now we will select it and provide the short description like landing not landing zone data landing zone for sources okay let's create the database oops sorry let's create the database and now let's do the registration of our data lake so we create the bucket and right now we need to register in lake formation we need to register our bucket so i went to data lake location click register location choose the s3 pass which we created and just click register location okay now we did this we did that so now let's uh, try to switch to our dev user and see what our dev user is looking i'm just pointing your attention that we are under north virginia region so in that case let me choose my dev user and from dev user i'm going to click on lake formation and I got some error because my dev user basically belongs to the group which doesn't have any permissions and the user itself also doesn't have any permissions but yeah we don't have possibility to do anything here but more important what we can do what, what 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 we can check we we can go to AWS glue and in AWS glue we also don't have yeah any permissions uh, we are not authorized to see uh, databases tables connections so there is no permissions to do on AWS Glue um, any activities so 
Of course, we need to fix this because uh, we, need, we definitely need to provide some access for, for this group where our developers is. So, and to do this, it's very simple. We just need to go to IAM service, click to groups, choose the developers, and uh, we need to attach the policy. And our policy will be full access for the console. And let's click attach policy. So now all users under this cloud in action developers group will have access for for Glue service. Uh, let's check this. Let's refresh. Yeah, pop should wait a little bit yeah so we don't have error which show us like we don't have permissions but we still don't see anything and if you go to the table you we also don't have tables we don't have connections we don't have database but but how it's possible because we already created the database and this is why aws lake formation exists so even if you like have full access for your AWS Gloop data catalog. Once you enable your lake formation things, you have to provide the access for your users through your lake formation. And only on that point, this user will be able to see the database. So let, let me just prove this. So let me switch to admin user. Right now I am under admin user. I go to the lake formation and in, in databases, uh, I can choose the database, click action and provide the grant permissions. And I will provide the grant permissions for my dev account. I will allow him to create, alter and drop tables and I'll click Grant. So, and for now, if we will switch back to our dev user and click Refresh, here we go. Now we can see that we are able to have access to our Metastore, which located uh, on, which secure by AWS Lake Formation. And right now we have our database lending data. So, also another layer of permissions because right now it's just the meta information so right now we just get the access to the meta information about our database this database doesn't have a tables so we we will need to provide the permissions once we will have a table but the more important even once we will have the access to the database we still don't have access to this location for this user so to fix this, we also need to go back to the lake formation and provide the permissions for your data location. So just click to the data location, click to grant, choose the admin user, choose your data location and click grant. So yeah, now actually uh, this this is it, and we provide the we provided the access for our dev user to our database and to S3 location, and uh, right now we are going to continue to work with our permissions, and we are going to ingest some data on our lending data layer and continue to work with this data layer uh, with this um, data from our dev user and basically our dev user will uh, do all our etl process to work with uh, data based on our needs okay thank you for watching and stay tuned